Hello guys, today Three, two, one. Hello guys, today I have made a mnemonic about urea cycle and I hope you will like it. In my first I will tell you the story and then I will explain all the steps in the urea cycle. There was a nag. Nag is a special kind of snake. He wanted to make a caramel. Or we can say he wanted to make a candy. So what he did that he had a machine, caramel synthesizer. He put an ammo box in the machine and uh, he blown into that machine and boom, what he got? Caramel package. Hmm. Notice that this machine, caramel synthesizer, is a kind of a weird machine. It has two switches to work properly. Now, Nag was not satisfied with the candy. He wanted to make it tastier. So what he did that in that caramel package, he put a thin orange without pants in it. And I will explain why without pants I'm saying here. And um, and he had a box, oh tasty caramel. He just put, add that to the caramel package and he made citrus crystals out of it. Mm. They look tastier. Now, what he did that he then called his friend that I'm sending you the citrus crystals, make suckers out of them, right? So, like, use them and make suckers. So, what he did that he sent those crystals to his smarty pants friend and he had a machine too. He put those crystals in the machine and boom, here came the suckers. What he did that he tried it on a lazy man wandering on the streets of his town so he gave one sucker to him and what happened boom he became an orange wearing a jeans mm. and he was releasing some kind of fumes too oh strange right um and he this orange wearing the jeans was happy and he went to the pool mm. And when he jumped into the pool, boom, what happened? Oh my gosh, he lost his pants. And look, what came out? The same thin orange that we use in making those citrus crystals. Oh, as this orange with jeans lost his pants, he ran inside the building. He said, oh my goodness, I must go inside. I'm not wearing my pants. So this is the orange without the pants, thin orange without the pants. Right. Now I will explain the different steps. The first step in urea cycle is and uh, that in the presence of ammonia, carbon dioxide, and two ATPs, you make carbamyl phosphate, right? And um N acetyl glutamate is an obligate activator of this reaction like if you don't have an acetyl glutamate you cannot start this reaction so first step is ammonium shown by the amino box 2 atp shown by the two switches and not blowing into the machine is this carbon dioxide and um, caramel synthesizer is basically caramel carbamyl phosphate synthetase one right and so Ammonium with two ATP and carbon dioxide and in the presence of enzyme carbamyl phosphate synthetase 1 for which the NAG is an obligate activator converts into carbamyl phosphate this caramel package right then what happens that carbamyl phosphate is then converted into citrulline right this citrus crystal citrulline with the presence of enzyme OTC or nithine transcarbomylase and what is the substrate required for that or nithine right that is coming from outside into the mitochondria the other important thing is that these steps like um, formation of carbamyl phosphate and formation of citrulline it is happening inside the mitochondria rest of the steps are occurring outside 
in the cytoplasm so that's why these steps are just imagine that these steps are happening inside a factory or inside that nog's house so, and then well, as i mentioned that he sent these crystals to his friend so now citrulline will leave the mitochondria and enter the cytoplasm and here we have an, another enzyme called aspartate look his smarty pan friend with big s so here and, and just remember that uh, we are getting the second nitrogen of uh, that is present in ammonia from aspartate so here aspartate along with one ATP will convert citrulline into arginosuccinate right suckers succinate arginosuccinate right then what happens in arginosuccinate in the presence of enzyme lyase this lazy man presents lyase is converted into arginine orange with the genes arginine and during this process he is releasing fumes and that I, I sorry i forgot to mention that these fumes are fumarate right fumarate that goes into the citric acid cycle right citric lemon citric acid cycle so arginosuccinate in the presence of enzyme lyase converts into arginine with the release of fumarate that goes into citric acid cycle now this arginine along with water is again converted into ornithine that enters into the mitochondria and utilized in formation of citrulline and in this process urea is formed right and uh, that is excreted out <clears throat> in the blood and then uh, uh, excreted in the kidney right that goes into the kidney and extracted out from there so these are the basic steps in urea formation let me repeat it again that nag and acetylglutamate in the presence of caramel synthesizer car carbamyl phosphate synthetase 1 converts carbon dioxide is flowing ammonium and 2 ATP into carbamyl phosphate caramel package then this carbamyl phosphate is converted into citrulline by the addition of ornithine by thin orange and the enzyme here is OTC right ornithine transcarbamyl is I think this is yes and then these citrulline then leave the mitochondria in the presence of aspartate which gives the second nitrogen to the urea formation and ATP forms arginosuccinate right suckers and then in the presence of this lazy man lyase these arginosuccinate are converted into arginine right and in result it releases fumarate which goes into the citric acid cycle then this arginine along with water is again converted to ornithine which goes into the mitochondria and then converts carbamyl phosphate into citrulline so this is a cycle that's very important for the exams hope i hope that it will help you remember all the steps in the cycle thank you